Hello. Um, <clears throat> today I want to talk more about um, <clears throat> the Friday the 13th lawsuit thing, or situation that's been going on. Um, it's been talked about a lot. Um, I'm going to essentially read an article from Bloody Disgusting about this whole thing, and it's, it's about... Larry Zerner, who was in Friday the 13th 3, and is now a lawyer, a copyright, uh, a copyright lawyer. And I'll leave that link in the description, as well as um, leave a video that uh, has an interview with uh, Larry about the whole situation, that way it's more explained, but I'm going to try my best to give my take and uh, say what I've got to say about the matter. Um, basically, um, this whole thing begins with, for starters, uh, put down the pitchforks and take it easy on Victor Miller. Um, a lot of people were upset and angry at Victor Miller, even though there's this clause in, in the copyright that allows what Victor Miller is doing to exist, so uh, writers of various mediums from film, TV, music, can get money. Anyway, back to the article. Um, it's been no secret for quite some time that the biggest issue holding up the new Friday the Thir <clears throat> or the Friday the 13th franchise is the pending lawsuit filed by director Sean Cunningham and his Horror Inc. company against Victor Miller, uh, the writer of the original film. The case made headlines again this week, however, when a new target found itself in the lawsuits crossing, hairs sadly all future DLC content for Friday the 13th of the game were, were suspended. We've been writing about the Sean Cunningham, Victor Miller the lawsuits for a while now, but the reality is none of us expected or experts at or legal experts. Bleh. Apologize. Trying to, this is kind of a lengthy article. And I want to try and get through it as fast as I can. This made the developing story a tough one for us to cover because what the hell do we know? Thankfully, Friday the 13th Part 3 star, Larry Shelley Zerner, whose character reluctantly was added, or recently added to the playable survivor of Friday the 13th the game, is here to make sense of the whole thing for us. Why Larry Zerner? Well, it turns out he's now an entertainment lawyer. In a series of tweets, Zerner broke down the messy legal battle. I've been hearing a lot of people dragging Victor online as if this is all his fault. It's not. Is there a begin. The Copyright Act includes a provision that states an author can terminate any transfer he or she has made after 35 years. Congress added this provision to allow creators, writers, songwriters, etc. who sold the rights cheap to have a second chance. In the case of Victor Miller, who was originally paid $9,500 for the original Friday the 13th script, which turned into 12 movies, a successful video game, and a loss of Jason Voorhees merchandise. <clears throat> this franchise Victor helped create made hundreds of millions of dollars. Zerner continued, but Victor was not entitled to any of that money. Victor did what the copyright allowed him to do. He sent a notice of termination to Sean, giving Sean two years' notice of termination, which would occur in June 2018. The way it usually works in these cases is that the producer and terminating <clears throat> writer will have the two-year period to work out a deal on how the money will be split on future projects. Termination does not affect movies already completed, but Sean and Victor will need to make a deal because the termination affects or only affects the Friday the 13th rights. Because of the quirks of the copyright law, 
even after termination, Sean would own the rights outside of the U.S., inst but instead of making a deal, Sean sued Victor, claiming the agreement that Victor signed in 1979 was not terminable. And the fact is that this is a very new era of law, so a lot of guidance for judges who is right. You know, there's a, not a lot, of, or no, there's not a lot of guidance for the judges to see who is right. Both sides have very capable lawyers who are arguing the case. One problem is that although both sides argued notions for summary of judgment last October, the judge in the case still hasn't ruled. This has really slowed things down. I'm sure everyone involved believe that there will be a trial before the termination occurred. I know it's frustrating, but for the fans who want new movies and more content, but to blame it all on Victor is unfair. And you can read the tweets below, and that's basically it. Um, there's been some people talking about this, you know, it's all Victor's fault and stuff, but, you know, if he, he didn't get paid that much in comparison to how much the film has um, made now. You know, the, that film made millions of dollars, <clears throat> and the franchise has made more. Also, I think it's fairly well known that screenwriters often get screwed in Hollywood in terms of rights. Um, I wrote a comment essentially saying all of this what was but summarized of what I read from this article that was on the June 13th of this month, so that was like a week ago. And um, it, it was just so... It's so messy, and I was trying to point out writers get kind of screwed. Um, I wrote a comment in a video talking about this lawsuit, and somebody commented that there was a, a few years ago, in 2015, Victor Miller said he got gets a little check, so he gets, like, royalties and stuff. Well, I looked at the article, and what that person didn't say was, he said, and if we're going to take Victor at his word, which I think is what the guy wanted, like, he says he made, he gets little checks, so he seems to get royalties. What he, what that meant, what was in that article was, Victor says, he gets checks every, or little checks every single time a Friday the 13th movie came out. So, for, like, films after, so for 11 movies, he got checks. He got checks because his name was on, on there for trading the characters. Trading Jason Voorhees and Pamela Voorhees and Crystal Lake and all that. Hence, they gave him a check every so often, but it doesn't seem like he had or got any kind of residuals. He never got any kind of compensation afterwards. Just every time a new movie came out, he would get a little piece of something, like, okay, I don't know. I don't know how much that would be. He never elaborated on it, so it seems as if what he got... <clears throat> initially, which was under $10,000, and the, the, that film itself made millions of dollars, <clears throat> no one thought it was going to make really anything, honestly, you know, uh, uh, people didn't think it would release that, it wouldn't do as well as it did, let's just say that, yes, horror movies at that time were huge, not all of them were huge successes like Friday the 13th. Um, some nowadays do become cult films. Um, but at the time, you know, maybe if you liked a certain horror film, it didn't make a lot of money, well, you're not going to get a sequel even if you think there could be more, or the film leads you to, to think there will be more. Or they intended it to be like a series, like a, like it's going to be two movies or three films or whatever. Sorry. 
but yeah, they, they from what this says, um, it doesn't look like Victor Miller got really a whole lot of uh, money, and that article was some years ago, and I don't know. I'll try to find it from that some days ago. I responded to it today. I, don't know, I got other things were going on, but anyway, this whole thing is so it's so complicated. And people were blaming Victor, and I'm like, Sean would own the rights to the original film outside of the U.S. Um, yet he uh, would own, only Victor would own the rights, but they could still make, you know. So, and the thing is, they should have made a deal. They should have made a deal, and I think in some regard, Sean did jump the gun a bit. Um, Granted, instead of talking it out, he and their lawyers look at this agreement, and and even from what uh, Larry Zerner said in this, uh, you know, <clears throat> uh, in the interview, I'll leave him the, the which the link will be in the description. It's a YouTube video, so there you go. You can watch it. You don't have to just read it. Um, but he, I guess he said he, I guess he saw what the. Uh, agreement was, like their contract, and from him, from what he said, doesn't seem like it was a very good one. Like, it, it didn't really have a huge, the basis for keeping, or having that as it, Sean's main, like, nah, I have you, I have this contract, and here it is, you can't, it's non-negotiable, you gave it away to me. And you were also a writer for hire, which, if you're a writer for hire, apparently this clause in the copyright, <clears throat> uh, this copyright, uh, this portion of the copyright law, it does not apply. If you are hired to do so, and you don't get it. And many people say, well, he was, you know, this was, Sean had the idea, and this and that. He had the idea basically for the title called Friday the Thirteenth. He had, he did not create the characters of Jason Voorhees and Pamela Voorhees, Crystal Lake, all of that. <clears throat> that all came from Victor Miller. The title, yes, came from uh, Sean Cunningham, and Sean did. Um, <clears throat> Say to Victor, uh, Halloween's making a lot of money, let's rip it off. And so he had Victor see Halloween, and from there he made Friday the 13th. Now, I'm not saying Sean had no creative input at some point in helping develop the characters, but it is Victor's name written. It is his name on the script. It's his name in the movie as written by Victor Miller. It doesn't say written by Victor Miller and Sean Cunningham. It's written by Victor Miller. And, you know, he created the name, honestly. That's really, if we're going to truly give him credit, without a shadow of a doubt, that is very well documented it's that he created the name Friday the 13th but as far as we can tell Victor Miller created everything else maybe Sean Cunningham when write, reading the script in various phases he had some suggestions to him which Victor would then you know consider and put in or maybe not maybe he didn't like them and explain why I don't know. This whole thing is such a huge mess. We won't know until the entire lawsuit is over, which could be maybe at the end of the year. This lawsuit will be done. Next year, it could be done. Two years, three years, four, five, we don't know. Nobody knows. Um, even Larry Zinner, Zinner doesn't truly know. 
but he, he he's probably the best person to ever talk about this it's good because he was in a Friday the 13th film he's a fan of the movies he's an entertainment lawyer he specializes in this sort of thing from whatever I what all I've heard from him and read of this whole thing I'm like I'm not blaming Victor Miller um, I'm not even exactly blaming Sean for doing such a thing but it doesn't seem, from what we've because when this whole thing went through this whole uh, termination of uh, contract that Victor Miller sent because apparently he tried before in 2015 when Friday the 13th would be 35 years old I guess he tried a few times but I guess it wasn't done properly like it wasn't filed properly it wasn't worded and whatnot but finally in June of 2016 he did so. Uh, it, it went through. Sean, it goes to the producer, which was Sean who produced the movie as well as directed. So I guess instead of uh, like talking and making a deal or whatever, uh, it, it, the, nothing happened. Uh, uh, instead of that, he, I guess he sued Victor. That was his thought. Um, I'm not saying they didn't talk, but I guess because the lawsuit happened actually not long after. Like, it might have been like weeks or months, I don't know. I don't fully know exactly, but it's, it's, I know I watched the video and all, but it was, but there's so much in this whole thing that's so big and convoluted and confusing so I apologize but main thing after Victor finally filed this uh, termination successfully not long after Sean sued him and I just don't know if that's this was the smartest thing um, I think he should have tried to talk to Victor which he which was essentially what you're supposed to do. Make a deal. I don't know. Um, it, it, it's so complicated, and this month has been that whole the time of making a deal with the producer. <clears throat> it's supposed to end, but because of this lawsuit, it's not going to end. It's all confusing. It's complicated, and um, <coughs> yeah. <sighs> so there you go. Um, I just wanted to share <clears throat> all that I've found out about this whole thing over the past week with you all. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you check out the links below. Uh, so, uh, you can uh, see for yourself, read the article, watch the interview. Because uh, this was kind of a mess, I know, but uh, I try to make it as short and concise and presentable as possible. Hopefully I achieved that, but if I didn't, I understand. Anyway, um, <clears throat> hope you all have a good day. Um, hope you have a good weekend, and um, well, I will see you next time.